Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about the change of state of matter. So the change of state of matter is the change of phase of substances without the change in composition. That is the change, we have three phases of matter. We have the solid, liquid, and gas. So the change of this phase of a substance from a phase to another, that is, it's the substance might be solid, then we are going to change it to liquid or gas, or it might be liquid before, they will change it to either solid or gas. So the change of the phase of a substance from one phase to another without the change of the composition is the change of state of that substance. And as I said earlier, I said we have three phases. We have the solid phase, the liquid, and the gaseous phase. So that now the change of a substance from solid to liquid, from solid to liquid, is known as the melting. So, and take for example your ice. So it is solid, then we need to, when we change it to liquid, we see that it has melt. So that is melting. Then from liquid back to solid is known as freezing. Or we call it solidification. Right? And from liquid to gas, from liquid to gas is known as um the is known as vaporization. Then from solid to gas is known as sublimation. Is known as sublimation. Then from gas to liquid is condensation. Right. So these are the main change of states of matter. So let's pick the first one: melting. Melting is a change of state in which a substance will change from solid to liquid. I said melting is a change of state from solid to liquid. And this will occur due to um, increasing heat in heat energy. So there should be increase in heat energy. That is what brings about from um, the change from solid to liquid. And examples of substance that change from solid to liquid, you have your eyes. Your eyes will change from solid to liquid when it is applied. All right. So moving on to solidification. So solidification, also known as solidification, which is also known as freezing, is a change of matter from liquid to solid. The change of matter from liquid to solid. All right. So that is, for example, you have your water and there is change. And this is due to drop in heat energy, drop in temperature, actually. So when there is drop in temperature, your substance will change from liquid to solid. And that is why our water will turn to ice. So that is from liquid to solid, which is known as freezing or solidification. All right. So moving on to the next one, boiling. Boiling is... Boiling is the application of heat to change, to change liquid to gas. So it is the application of heat to change liquid to gas. All right. And you should know um, all substances have their boiling points. All right. For example, water boils, it, ch it changes from liquid to solid at 100 degrees Celsius. And also substances will have their melting point. And the melting point of water is zero degree Celsius. All right. So let's move to the next one, vaporization. Vaporization. That is the conversion from, li from uh, liquid to gas. But this is a slow conversion. But boiling is the application of heat. This is faster. 
so liquid uh, vaporization is the conversion from liquid to gas and we are from um, solid to gas that is um, that is known as from solid to gas that is sublimation sublimation is the conversion of a substance from solid to gas and take for example are you dying at room temperature are you dying we can change it from solid to gas um camphor camphor is solid so when you put it in a, in a container so there will be um to change from solid to gas so there are some factors that we need to consider before there is change of reaction and these factors are number one temperature the temperature so temperature will affect the state of matter of a substance so there are some when some substances are at high temperature they are going to be liquid while some will be solid while some will be gaseous so temperature is a factor to consider when we're talking about the change of state of matter all right so also talk about pressure pressure affects the state of matter of a substance all right so there are some substances that when you apply high pressure to them they will change from they are going to be solid and some when they are at high temperature at high pressure they will be liquid and some will be gaseous so pressure is another factor we need to consider another factor we need to consider is the volume yes the volume of a substance will also affect the state of matter of that substance all right and also its contents or we call them the the enthalpy so enthalpy will also affect the state of matter of the or the state of matter or <laughs> the state of matter all right so also um though this is not for all entropy at times that is the state of disorderliness might affect the state of matter so that is these are the factors that affect the state or the change of state of matter all right so moving on to our questions here now question one says that the change of state is accompanied by what the change of state is that is after there is change of state so what will happen next is it temperature volume temperature and volume or volume and its content let us take water for example when our water is solid and it changes to liquid so once the thing change what will what are you going to notice you are going to notice that there is um there is change in volume and change in its contents when it changes again to gas these two factors too will change so um both the temperature let us look at this temperature now temperature at a certain temperature this will change from solid to liquid then at this place it has its own temperature all right so at this temperature again if you change the temperature it will change so um but the said the change of state is accompanied that is what follows the change of state of matter and the answer is the volume and its contents they follows the change of state of matter all right so moving on to question two the change of state from solid to liquid occurs where yeah, the change of state from solid to liquid okay so the change of state from solid to liquid the second question a at constant temperature is that correct yes because when there is constant temperature as i was explaining earlier there's constant temperature a solid will change um, a substance will change from solid to liquid all right then option b they said when temperature is lower than the boiling point when temperature is that is not true when temperature is lower than the boiling point no so the next one they said when temperature is lower than okay they are repeating the same thing when temperature is lower than and i said that is wrong all right and they said when temperature 
is equal to the boiling point. Is that no? When temperature is equal to the boiling point, that does not uh, affect the change of state. When, for example, when you have um, maybe 100 degrees Celsius, you know, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. All right. So if the temperature is now 100 degrees Celsius, that does not affect the change of state of matter. So what will affect the change is if there is constant temperature. So the answer is A. So the change of state from solid to liquid occurs at constant temperature. All right. So don't forget, we talked about the change of state of matter. And I said, this, the, uh, the basic change of state of matter include melting, freezing, condensation, vaporization, and sublimation. And I said, um, okay. And I said, when a substance change from solid to liquid, that is melting. When it changes from liquid to solid, that is freezing. When it changes from liquid to gas, that is vaporization. When it changes from gas to liquid, that is condensation. All right. And for example, your water vapor saturates and changes to water, to, your, to um, liquid, that is condensation. And from solid to gas is sublimation. I gave you an example like camphor, like iodine. All right. So when you have any question concerning change of state of matter, you are free to drop your question in the comment section. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.